Okay guys, welcome back. I'm going to go for the third time with this black, gold and white jiggle paw on the 30 centimeter round, uh, 12 inches. So it's same as before, I did two before and I still wasn't quite happy with them. So I'm going to go for a third time. There's no saying that it's going to work this time, but maybe third time lucky, hey? <laughs> uh, so flow troll for my pouring medium. And to the flow troll, I have mixed one to one with the Artist Loft Black. And then I've mixed two parts Artist Loft White to one part Satin Enamel. And then I've mixed that one part paint to one part flow troll. And the gold I'm using because I love this colour. It doesn't react though like the Deco Art Gold does, which is good. I don't want it to react. I want the white to react. This is a really thin paint, so I've mixed two parts paint to one part flow troll. And uh, that is it. Because look at this. I want to get up and show you. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous gold. I love it. It's just a bit difficult to work with because it's so thin. So it kind of, it gives you the illusion that it's really thick, so it doesn't even want to flow. But when you stir it, it feels the same thickness as the Artist Loft does. So it's a bit deceptive, it's a bit tricky to work with, but isn't it just a gorgeous, gorgeous gold? So pretty. All right, well, let's hope that it doesn't all disappear this time. Uh, I have got... Um, less paint this time because you know I tilted it all off last time so I need to keep a little bit of white for my puddle I need to keep a little bit of black for my edges and then I'm going to layer everything else I'm going to go three times with the layering so actually I might do this first I don't know how much paint I've got left to work with I'll do that and I'll do that that way I know not to, that, that way I can use it all. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right, let's get to layering. So what I've got left in here, I need to layer three times. Black. Gold. Lots of gold this time. And white. So I've probably got equal amounts of black and gold left. Oh, sorry, equal amounts of black and white left. And then I've got more of the gold because obviously I haven't got any gold on the canvas. So here we go, three layers. Actually, no, I don't want to do that because I don't want the white on the edge, do I? Nope, I don't. That's what I did wrong in one of my other videos. I had the white on the edge and I don't want the white on the edge. Because whatever you put as your last colour in the cup, that's what's going to go on the edge and I don't want white there i'd rather have the gold next to the black so let's just fill that up lots of gold um i'll put the rest of the white just here so that way i'm using it all up like so okay <clears throat> now a jiggle paw or a straight paw we'll see what happens into the middle from up high because I want some cloud effects happening. Get a little bit closer as I get to the end of the cup so that I get my little fingerlings happening. Like so. So high up to start with to get the reaction happening in the white puddle with the satin enamels and then slow it down to get our beautiful fingerlings in the middle. And we'll see how that works, eh? Catch the drips. Okay, well, I can see gold this time, that's for sure. Woohoo! Hopefully, third time lucky, hey? <laughs> I feel like Goldilocks. 
So I'm going to let that sit for a minute while I just spread my black paint around. And um, it can have any little clouds or effects come up if they want to. I've still got the white there. That's from the puddle. That's a shame, isn't it? Because my puddle was so big, it's pushed the, the golds, pushed the, the um, white. So I've still got actually white there. Instead of having gold and the black, I've got the white in between. So that's a bit of a shame. I'll probably lose that black on that side then. Because I wanted the gold against the black. But I've got so much paint on here that I'm going to have to tilt off anyway. I'll probably come back to this little bit of black there. I would say. I won't worry about the edges just at the moment. I can do those later on. Um, but hopefully I'll, I'll push enough paint off the canvas so that we'll go over the edge. But hey, my gold's showing. Yay! So really cut down on the, the white this time because it just took over last time. Did you guys see my previous couple of videos like this of this technique so I'm just going to go around like that and I'll lose that white ring don't mind having the gold on the edge I'll keep going because I'm I've got the paint moving in this direction so we'll keep going I'll also go over the edge and cover my edges Yeah, that probably wasn't a very good move, hey, putting such a big white puddle there. I didn't need that much. I just finished off what was in my cup, which I probably shouldn't have done. Okay, let's keep as much gold there as we can for now. Mm, I'm going to have to tip some more off, actually. quite a lot of this white bloom here so I'm going to get rid of a bit of that because I don't like that on the edge so just spin that around and get rid of that so that my gold is on the edge rather because I think I'd be happier with it like that I'm just trying to center it again Difficult to do once you've started moving everything around, trying to recenter. It's a bit tricky. All right, let me look at that. Okay. <clears throat> um, probably trying to get it too matchy matchy. And you really shouldn't worry about that when you're doing this sort of pour. And sometimes it's nice to actually have it a bit off center so take that right off but um, I actually like it like that I'm going to play around with it just a touch more and then I think I'm gonna leave it or or, or, or take that off mm -hmm. I don't know if I take that off and then I haven't got that rim around the outside. What do you think? Or just leave it. I want to see what it looks like if I just take that off. Just so that it's not so matchy matchy. What do we think of that one? Yeah, I think that's better actually, not having that 
sort of a band around there. I think that's better. open it up a little bit there's a there is always a risk you know of fiddling too much but I just wasn't I thought I wanted the black all the way around the edge but after seeing it I, I just think that it was better having part of it go off um, just for composition wise I think it looks nicer There we go. Look at those fingerlings in the centre there. They are so gorgeous. Um, all right. Oh, I'm happy with that. Uh, let me wash my hands. No, I can't. I haven't got a cloth. I haven't organised my cloth. All right. Quick torch. So I've still got gold in there. It's not as noticeable in here. Again, the white really eats up your gold, but I have got the gold around the outside there. So once that dries, that will be really pretty. Now I'm gonna show you all three. Look at all my gold there. Um, just see if that's still in frame. Uh, just, just. So that was the second one I did. And <clears throat> that was the first one I did. Like so. So now we have a gorgeous set of three. Let me just climb up, make sure they're still in frame. Yes, they are. So there they are, one, two, and three. They're all very similar, but all different. So one's got a lot of white. The one on the top left's got a lot of white. The one on the top right's got a lot of black. And then the one in the middle's got just a bit of both. Bit of white, bit of black, bit of gold. So yeah, they're really pretty. And they're all different. I think the one I did today is probably my favorite. I love those fingerlings, but let's take you down for a close up and you guys can see what you think. See if you like them. Okay, look at that center there. Mm -mm. So it's kind of feathers, but because I did the jiggle and because of the satin enamel. They kind of like stumpy fingers. I call them fingerlings because they're not really feathers. They don't, they're not pointy on the outside. And then that's where the, the white has done its thing. Satin enamel has bloomed there. And of course we've got the bit of gold around the edge there still. So that's that one. And then this one again has got the fingerlings in the middle they're not as pronounced I guess um, and a lot more white have got some gold along the edges here it's kind of wispy gold again very pretty it goes down the side of the gold We've got some white pearls happening Lovely net black negative space there. But that one. And then the first one. I actually do really like this one too. Just because of the, the shape. It really looks like wings. And there we've got sort of a wispy feather look going into the black. Got a few white pearls happening here and there. Um, but mainly, mainly the, the fingerlings. I haven't got a lot of pearls happening. I think for this one I didn't go from up high, like I didn't pour my paint in from up high like I did with this one. This one I poured in from up high, that's why I've got those, more of those sorts of 
features there, the clouds. And then this one got gobbled up, all the gold got gobbled up by the white. So it's only got a little bit of white and a little bit of gold poking through the centre there. So that's them. Gorgeous set of three. Do you like them? <laughs> right, I've finished all my, um, I've used up all my rounds now. So that'll be it. I can't do any more. But they were fun. So I appreciate you watching. Hope you've enjoyed them. And um, I'll most likely give these three a little coat of gloss varnish because they'll be really nice like hung in a row like one above the other just on a like a, a long narrow wall maybe little area maybe in the smallest room of the house <laughs> um, with a little gloss varnish so I think they'll look really pretty there so what do you think which one do you like first second or third hopefully you've watched all three videos and you followed my journey with them but um, yeah enjoyed that all right thanks for watching I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.